Proton VPN, let's talk about it because it might be the most transparent VPN provider out there. They openly share their ownership, their address, their team, and their privacy policy, which can definitely make you feel a lot more confident about trusting them with your privacy. Not only that, but the speeds, the server types, and the protocols that Proton VPN offers are all super impressive. But what's it actually like using Proton VPN? Is it an app that fits seamlessly into your digital life or not so much? Let's take a look. How does Proton VPN protect you? When you use Proton VPN, your real IP address is hidden and your internet traffic is encrypted so that your internet service provider, your ISP, advertisers, and hackers aren't able to see your activity. And Proton VPN is particularly impressive when it comes to privacy. It's based in Switzerland where there are no data retention requirements. Plus, Switzerland isn't part of any surveillance agreements. Proton VPN also has a strict no logs policy that was independently verified as recently as July of 2024. So they're not tracking or storing any user activity. And then all of Proton VPN's apps are open source, meaning that the source code is available for anyone to inspect. What security features do you get with Proton VPN? Proton VPN offers several different VPN protocols depending on the app that you're using, including OpenVPN, WireGuard, Ike v2, as well as Proton's Stealth protocol, so you get a fast and secure connection. Proton VPN also has a kill switch, which automatically blocks all internet traffic if your VPN connection unexpectedly drops. You can also split tunnel with Proton VPN, which lets you choose which apps you're gonna use the VPN with and which apps you're not gonna use it with. However, it's important to know that if you're a Mac user, if you're an iPhone user, those apps currently do not support split tunneling. Where can you connect to with Proton VPN? Currently, Proton VPN has over 13,000 servers in 122 countries. So definitely a solid number there. And beyond that, Proton VPN has a ton of specialty servers for advanced users. For example, Secure Core, which is what Proton VPN calls their multi-hop servers, where your traffic is routed through servers in privacy-friendly countries before exiting through your selected country. They also have P2P servers for file sharing and Tor servers to access the Tor network. What's the user experience like with Proton VPN? Well, Proton VPN has apps for all your devices, including Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. The apps are well designed and intuitive. They let you connect with one tap or click. You can easily select or change servers, and you can quickly toggle features like Secure Core or the Kill Switch. And the connections themselves were both fast and stable. In our testing, Proton VPN was able to connect to the servers within a few seconds and hold those connections without any interruption. And overall, it's just cool looking, especially the Mac OS app with the dark interactive world map and the purple text and icons. It's a good look for a VPN. How fast is Proton VPN? We tested Proton VPN on a MacBook Pro and a Pixel 7a on a Verizon Fios network, and these were the results. On Mac OS, our baseline speeds without a VPN were 309 megabits per second download and 140 megabits per second upload. When we connected to a Proton VPN server in Virginia, we were able to get a download speed of 271 megabits per second and an upload speed of 94.9 megabits per second. Connected to a server in the UK, we were able to get an even faster download speed at 308 megabits per second, but the upload speed slowed a little bit at 35.1 megabits per second. Similarly, when connected to a French server, we were able to get a download speed of 300 megabits per second and an upload speed of 33.6. So it was interesting to see how fast the download speeds remained across the board, really. Whereas the upload speeds were affected a little bit more by using the VPN, particularly with those European servers, we saw a more significant drop in upload speeds. Now, what about the secure core servers? How does a multi-hop server affect the speed of Proton VPN? When connected to a secure core server in Los Angeles, we got a download speed of 193 megabits per second and an upload speed of only 8.79 megabits 
for a second. So definitely take this into consideration. If you're gonna be using these secure core servers, they can have a drastic effect on your speeds, particularly upload speeds. Shifting to the tests with our Pixel 7a, the baseline speeds without being connected to a VPN were 269 megabits per second download and 39.5 megabits per second upload. Connected to a Proton VPN server in New Jersey, we got a download speed of 112 megabits per second and an upload speed of 47 megabits per second. That was a bit of a strange result seeing such a drop in download speed, but an actual increase in upload speed. But connected to a Proton VPN server in Australia, we were actually able to get a much more reasonable download number at 229 megabits per second, although the upload speed was pretty slow at only 11 megabits per second. And connecting to a Japanese server, we got a download speed of 183 megabits per second, but only an upload speed of 6.6 .6 megabits per second. So it was interesting to see that at the time of our testing, at least, that some of the most distant servers produced the fastest download speeds with the Android app. However, for us being in the US, the upload speeds were still fastest using the US servers. Can you stream with ProtonVPN? In our tests, Proton VPN servers were able to stream Netflix without any issues, including in Japan and in the UK. And for each server, Proton VPN actually lets you know which streaming services it's optimized for, which is a nice touch. How much does Proton VPN cost? At the time of this video, the two-year plan is the best deal, averaging out to a monthly cost of $4.49. The one-year plan comes out to be a little bit more. It averages out to $4.99 a month. And the monthly plan, that's quite a bit more, costing $9.99 a month. As with most VPN providers, the longer that you sign up for, the cheaper it's gonna be. And know that with a subscription to Proton VPN, you're gonna get 10 simultaneous connections, which doesn't match the unlimited connections that you get from some VPN competitors out there. But in general, 10 is gonna be more than enough for most users. Wrapping it up, what are the pros and cons of Proton VPN? For pros, Proton is amazing when it comes to transparency. Their apps are open source, they've been independently audited, they have a no logs policy, and they're based in privacy friendly Switzerland. Proton VPN has a super impressive server list, currently over 13,000 in 122 countries, along with specialty servers like Secure Core and Tor. And with Proton VPN, you can use streaming services like Netflix, letting you bypass content geo restrictions. Potential cons with Proton VPN? It does cost a bit more than some competitors when you're looking at the 24 and 12 month plans. The cheapest average monthly cost currently being 449 for the 24 month plan. And also be aware that currently the Mac OS and iOS apps do not support split tunneling. So if you're a Mac user, if you're an iPhone user, that could be a deal breaker. Still deciding on a VPN? Click here to watch our video on the top VPNs.